Back here now, the Veterans Association of Central Western Massachusetts hosted its Suicide Prevention and Veteran Mental Health Summit today. 22 News reporter Julia O'Keefe tells us how the summit is aiding the vets during Suicide Prevention Month. This summit helped first responders across Central and Western Massachusetts focus on critical issues surrounding veterans' mental health. It's really this wonderful opportunity for the VA to open its doors and share what we're doing with the community. The Veterans Association partnered with the American Foundation for Suicide Prevention for Thursday's Community Health Summit, bringing together experts, first responders and community leaders to explore strategies to better support veterans in crisis. So our goal here is to really kind of help them better understand uh, military culture, uh, have an idea of how they might respond if someone uh, has that history and is, is in a crisis situation and give them some tips on, on what they might do and then just supply them with resources. Attendees had the chance to engage in breakout rooms surrounding topics such as veteran mental health, legal support and suicide prevention. Presenters stress the importance of being sensitive to someone who served. If they may be avoiding um, circumstances and situations that we may, may otherwise find to be um, non-threatening, they may uh, experience uh, people or situations as dangerous. First responders are encouraged to identify veterans in need and connect them to the VA's services. The brief to all of our presenters was give all of our folks who are attending today something for, to put in one pocket for the veterans they see in the community and the other pocket for themselves. To connect with the VA of Central Western Mass, you can visit our website, www.lp.com. By providing essential training and resources, this summit will help first responders make a difference in the veteran population in their communities. Working for you in Northampton, Julia O'Keefe, 22 News.